Amen. Now let's go back here. Woo! This is good, y'all. Once. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Woo! Okay now. 32. Second Chronicles 32. We was chosen by God. Amen. We surrendered. We gave ourselves to the Lord. Amen. Amen. We was endowed with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on. All right. All right. All right. 32, starting at the first verse. After these things and the establishment thereof, Sinamaria, king of Assyria, came and entered into Judea and encamped against the fenced cities and thought to win them for himself. And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib was to come and that he was purposed to fight against Jerusalem, he took counsel with his princes and his mighty men to stop the waters of the fountain which were without the city. And they did help him. Amen. So there was gathered much people together who stopped all the fountains and the brook that ran through the midst of the land saying, Why should kings of Assyria come and find much water? Also, he strengthened himself and built up all the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers and another wall without and repaired Milo in the city of David and made darts and shields in abundance. And he set captives a war over the people and gathered them together in the street of the gate of the city and spake comfortably to them saying, Be strong and courageous. Be not afraid nor dismayed for the king of Assyria nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with him. Now this king was coming in and he wanted to frighten everybody. Amen. Come in and take charge. Hallelujah. Amen. But let's go on here before I get going. Amen. The eighth verse. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Amen. To help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the word of Hezekiah, king of Judea, Judah. After this did Sennacherib, king of Assyria, send his servants to Jerusalem. But he himself laid siege against Latash and all his people with him unto Hezekiah, king of Judah, and unto Judah that were at Jerusalem, saying, Thus said, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, whereon do you trust that you abide in the siege of Jerusalem? Do not Hezekiah persuade you to give yourselves to die by phantom and thirst, saying, The Lord our God shall deliver us out of the hand of king, of the king of Assyria? See, what it was trying to do is say, why are you listening to Hezekiah? Amen. You're going to just listen to him saying, believe your God? That's what he was saying. He was saying, I've taken everything from you. Now what you going to do? Who you going to believe now? Amen. 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 Let me see here. Uh, the 12th verse. Has not by the same Hezekiah, taken away his high places and his altars 
and commanded Judah and Jerusalem, saying, You shall worship before one altar and burn incense upon it. See, he got rid of all of the idols. You know, they was back then, it was like all kind of idols and gods, and, and they worship everything. They worship the sun, they worship the rain, they worship the moon, they worship everything. Amen? Amen. So Hezekiah said, get rid of that. It's only one God, and he's going to take care of you. Don't be afraid of what the king is trying to do. Don't be afraid on how they're trying to overtake you. Amen. Jesus. 13. Know ye not what I and my fathers have done unto all the people of other lands. Were the gods of nation of those lands in any way able to deliver their lands out of my hand? Who was there among all the gods of those nations? that my fathers utterly destroyed that could deliver his people out of my hand, that your God should be able to deliver you out of my hand? See, what he was doing, he was threatening. That's what he was doing. Amen. Going up saying, what, what, you know, Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. See there? See what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah. See, the Lord wants you to know. Amen. But see, Satan don't want you to know. Amen. What you possess. He don't want you to know. Amen. That anything that comes up against you will not overcome you. It will not overtake you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you are a child of the king. Amen. You are somebody. Amen. You do have power. Bless the Lord. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless your name, Jesus. Now, therefore, let not Hezekiah deceive you, nor persuade you in this man. See, that's what Satan do. He talk to your mind just like that. He said, don't, don't believe. Don't believe you healed. Amen. Don't believe that you've been delivered. Amen. Don't believe that you don't have to smoke them cigarettes. Amen. Drink that alcohol to have a good time. You can have a good time with me and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, therefore, let not Hezekiah deceive you nor persuade you in this name. Neither yet believe in him. For no God of any nation or kingdom was able to deliver his people out of mine hand and out of the hand of my fathers. See, he just thought he had the big king. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Amen. You know, he just thought the king, he just thought he had it going on. He said, don't believe. Don't believe a man of God talking to you. Amen. Telling you to get rid of all these idols and worshiping one Lord, one Savior. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I, I still got some more, y'all. We're going to get there. 16. And his servant spoke 